you study agri agriculture. So, and you're a mes me master of ceremonies. Mm -hmm. Now, tell my audience, why didn't you go to mm -hmm. school to study languages? Linguistic. I didn't. Why? <laughs> so what I did was, you know, in life, you don't get to know exactly who you are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's along the line you begin to discover that, okay, this is, this, I actually have capacity for this. And it could be, it could even be friends that will let you know who you are mm. and what is you. Because I remember it's until I finished university and came out that one or two people began to tell me that I should come anchor their event. And I said, no, I'm a misfit. I'm a mismatch. I will not be able. Forget about the fact that I may look funny when we are together. In reality, I can't stand a crowd. And that's true. I couldn't stand a crowd before. But, you know, because friends were saying, no, come and help us anchor you our event. You put color to it. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> For real? Because I was, you know, I as a childhood background, I had some challenges mm. that made upset with facing a crowd. Okay. My brother, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm cool. <laughs> Very good. Wow. Yeah. Nice to see you today. Nice to see you. Yeah. Eshe <laughs> gone. <laughs> I, I I know we have a we had the the difficulty we had last time we, we tried to do this, you know. Uh yeah. thank yeah. God, thank God you are back in your office. <laughs> <laughs> man, DG. Yeah, man, I've been I've been observing your your, your work. Yeah. Yep. All your interviews, all the 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 languages I see, I hear. Uh, like I said before, I I'm envious, very envious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, la languages languages are are great, and uh, to be able to communicate with so many different people in their own languages is is nice, you know. Absolutely. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. See, even that, even having said that, there are so many different. Uh, stories and issues uh, oh. that is flo floating around about languages about this about that that you know so mm -hmm. i i hope uh, we will we'll have the time to talk about so many of these things i now, really <laughs> now, tell my audience who you are and what you do all right um it's afternoon here in nigeria and it's same in the UK, except we have an R difference, right? Yeah, yes, yes. So my name is Adedeji Odulesi. Um, a Nigerian. I studied agriculture, so I'm a farmer. Okay. However, <laughs> however, I am today. Um, I've diversified into public speaking, okay, anchoring events. So I, and that's got to the fact that I speak quite a number of languages, English, French, German, Spanish, Hausa, Igbo, Yoruba. So got to that I am now a master of ceremonies. You can imagine somebody anchoring an event and is able to connect with the three major groups in Nigeria yeah. and some minorities too. And then he's also able to connect with the, the foreign delegates at an event. Mm. So who I am, an MC that's able to engage with the audience. Yeah. Wow. See, like I said, uh, and you, see, you, 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 you said something, you study agri agriculture. So, and you're a mes me master of ceremonies. Mm -hmm. Now, tell my audience, why didn't you go to school to study languages? Linguistic. I didn't. Why? <laughs> so what I did was, you know, in life, you don't get to know exactly who you are. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. It's along the line you need to discover that okay, this is, this, I actually have capacity for this. And it could be it could, it could even be friends that will let you know who you are mm. and what is you. Because I remember it's until I finished university and came out that one or two people began to tell me that I should come anchor their event. And I said, no, I'm a misfit. I'm a mismatch. I will not be able. Forget about the fact that I may look funny when we are together. In reality, I can't stand the crowd. And that's true. I couldn't stand the crowd before. But, you know, because friends were saying, no, come and help us anchor you our event. You put color to it. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> For real? Because I was, you know, I as a childhood background, I had some challenges mm. that made me upset with facing a crowd. You know, maybe you, I'm in a choir. I remember when it was, I was in a choir and we were singing. I was in PT, first or second year of secondary school, or even just mm. finishing primary school. And, um, you know, in the choir, there are, the, the, the songs are together. So you take your part, somebody takes it. So when somebody finished, that was my part to put in my something. And I'd forgotten the lines. I didn't even know it was my part. So everybody, so the whole thing came to a standstill and everybody turned to me. That look at, look me. at you. Oh my yes, God. And I didn't remember what to say. So I felt embarrassed. The choir felt embarrassed. So that just made me decide that, whoa, mm. it's not my thing. <laughs> oh. Experiences like that. So, yeah. But I'm, I'm surprised today that public speaking is my thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, like you said, many times we don't know ourselves. We're still young. Okay, yeah. when we when we get into university, and I can assure you that the vast majority of people who go to university all over the world, yeah, it's not only in Nigeria, go there. Very few actually know what they want to do later. That's after school. Very that's few. Right. Very few. Okay, me. Uh, my parents, not me, my parents wanted me to study medicine. Okay. And I applied for medicine. Unfortunately, but I would say, fortunately, I didn't get the cut of mark. Okay. Oh, la, la. So I didn't, stop, I, didn't, I didn't study medicine. I'm happy. Okay. Because <laughs> hey, 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 I never wanted to do that. But then my father went to check, see what else can I do? Ah. He, he had a, a professor friend in Unilag. He talked to him and the guy said, oh, look at your, your, your son scored very high. In fact, higher than the bottom mark of, of all, the, all the sciences. I okay. can, can study biochemistry. Mm. And then my father carried the biochemistry on his head and he started saying biochemistry. Anyway, I, he, <laughs> he changed my, my course to biochemistry. I got in. The same, the same way about medicine. I didn't want to study biochemistry, but that's what I studied. Right. Wow. So you're a bi biochemist. Well, that's what I studied. I, I have <laughs> never, <laughs> never, never practiced. But then, okay, now I do, uh, even I, I, I worked as, as a banker, okay, for over 10 years, right? So I, wow. I did banking, okay? But then even the banking, was my own thing. <laughs> See, I look at things now. I say, hmm, if I had stepped back a little way, a little bit, to mm -hmm. know myself a little bit more. Earlier. Mm -hmm. Okay. In fact, I've said this a long, a long time ago. Most likely, I would have studied psychology because I love psychology. And I read a lot of psychology books. Okay. Psychology, history, economics, and a lot of science. See, I'm, I'm, when it comes to reading, I read a lot of di different things. But see, I see myself, maybe if I've studied psychology, I would have uh, maybe gone to PhD. Okay, if I did that. Because I didn't do that. Align, it aligns with you naturally. Yeah, exactly. It's what I love. I like, I like to know why people do what they do. Why does this person do this? Why does this person do that? Anyway, so my point is that many of us don't know what we want to do. And uh, unfortunately, 
we go out, we finish school, and we started to start doing other things, and we never stop, stop ourselves and say, wait a minute, what am I actually good at? And we we work for decades, never been never been fulfilled, and uh, in middle middle age, we now say everything is uh, whatever, you know, we're, we're not happy. I'm happy you are doing something you love. Okay? Absolutely. I'm happy you are doing what, something you, you love. Uh, tell, tell me, see, let's, let's look at the languages you speak. You speak English, French, Spanish, German, German, Hausa, Ibo, Yoruba. Okay. So, like I said, I'm envious. See, t tell us what, the kind of things you coordinate and be, a, be the master of ceremony. And how has uh, the crowd seen your work? What did they think about it? Okay, so I have, um, I started really with anchoring small events, mm -hmm. like in the office, somebody's is going to um, pen down or be sent forth after clocking 60 years or 35 years in service. So they call me, help us anchor this event. You know, it's yeah. a small event. <laughs> so I do it and they love it. There may be no reward. There will be no cash reward and things okay. like that. Or it got to a time that a friend was going to marry and it was a big hall they were renting. Wow. And they said, come and help us. And, go, ah, ah. and I said, I cannot, I got my face. I don't want to embarrass the family. You see, they've gotten the fine hall, they've gotten crowd, and it was even a a, a, a marriage between a do state and Ubu state. Okay. So you can see the kind of crowd that they Yeah. And the wife, the wife is Yoruba, Ubu state. She was like, and why even the Jebu? She said, no, no, I would, I would be. And I was like, oh, please, I don't want to embarrass myself and embarrass them. I'm not, I can't do it. I've not faced this kind of crowd before in a hall, a big hall. They said, no, they want it like that. If you want it like that, okay. So when I saw that I could not remove myself from it, I threw in all. So it would be my first wedding engagement, you know, involvement. And I did it. And the audience were, so I went into the languages and they were like, you know, Hausa people were happy. Yoruba people were happy. Igbos were happy. And they, they gave me a round of applause. Wow. So my head, my head was like, oh, so I could really do something that people yeah. would love. So when I was when I finished and I stepped out, two people approached me for their own event. Their so I just told them that I am busy. I'm busy. I will not be available for their event. One agreed, but some other was like, "You are you are not busy, come come. <laughs> <laughs> you must be available for my event." So I could not extricate myself again. So mm. I travel to Ondo State. Okay, I think that one. And I don't know a kitty for, for that one. I, since I could not, you know, avoid it. So I held that one again. So before that, so after that time, people that saw it, they started inviting me. Then from there, do you have a complimentary card? I made a complimentary card. Do you charge for this? I told them, yes, I charge. Uh, so I became excited, you know, with yeah. the reward. I, 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 saw, I, saw, I saw the... One of the one that, that I think the one that make it made made it a star on internet yes. was the the school. What school Deeper was Life it? Deeper, Deeper Life School. School. Yeah. <laughs> tell, tell, tell us about that. Tell us about that. See, I saw that and I saw the 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 reaction of the crowd. Yes. Tell, tell us about that. <laughs> okay, so what happened for that was that um after a while, schools in my community. Started hiring me, so I must confess I learned this craft from schools. Yeah. So school, you know, schools. Some of them have principles. Some don't have principles. Some of them have standards. Some don't have standard. So if I did anyhow, mm, mm, they no, take it. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I didn't really have a mentor earlier on. Mm. So I was learning on the job. <laughs> so I will. The, in Nigeria, when it comes to July, that's the time they have their events. Yeah, so I would usually take, I'd go on, uh, go on leave from where I was working, go on leave. So that time, I will anchor their events. Five thousand naira, I will appreciate it. Yeah, 
yeah. 10,000 Naira out of two days. 20 Naira, 20,000 Naira out. So at times I will set a budget that if I can put 10 screws, <laughs> that would be how much? Every capability, 10 screws at 20,000. 20, that would be how much? 200,000. Wow. Ah, if I hit, hit 200,000. <laughs> But I never hit 10 schools because usually many of them will pick the same dates. The same, the same hit... similar, similar dates, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I never hit 200,000. We know maybe I could do five schools, six schools. Then not all of them agreed to pay 20,000. Of course. <laughs> of course. Yeah. But I, I, I start getting better on the job, you see. Then yeah. it, got, it got to a point um, in those schools, Chartered Institute started seeing me in those schools. So mm. they started inviting me to chartered institutes. Wow. Okay? And those ones could be like 50, like 70 at that time. You understand? Mm. They could be so at those times. So, and I was happy and excited about it at that time. Fortunately, I, at the point I got tired with a client that was not, that appreciated my talent, but was not really ready to pay what I felt I was not beginning. That was 20, 2018. I was mm. not ready to do what I felt I now, you know, was worth. Deserved. Mm -hmm. yeah, Your work deserved. Yeah. Yeah. That time I had got a mentor who was training me. Mm -hmm. So I felt I was above this 25, 30,000 issue. 25, I was talking 25,000 to 30,000. And I felt I was above that. And they were not ready to increase anything. <laughs> <laughs> so we had to part ways. We had to part ways. Mm. Then, that same season, the next year, Deeper Life High School called for my service. They didn't know me really. Somebody recommended me. So they asked me, how much would you charge? I said, I, I even go to the same church. I am not charging you people, Joe. Just anything you have for me as an honorarium. They yeah. said, for real? Said, yes, for real. It's my church. So what am I charging? Let me just come and enjoy it. Because it's, you see, it's passion. Yeah. The passion aspect, I I like it. Yeah. Then, I'm, then the 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 they have good um, ambience. I know that if they have good electronics thing. You know the, the multimedia services to capture to capture events properly. Yeah. So, they have, mm -hmm. yeah. so when I got, I got it very very early before the before people came. I was already yeah. there, ready for the job. So somebody walked walk, walked up to me, the head of the media something. Said I've been observing my videos. You know, maybe some lapses here and there. He said, this one, eh? What he will give me. I've not started programming. He said, this one, what he will give me. Ah, it's okay. So, and you know, I was excited to really connect. Because, you see, I said, I said my background is students. So I know what I will do that students will be excited. Yeah. That is how I started. I was just, I didn't know anything about going viral. Mine was just, today, you students here. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> So, and students like somebody that can engage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because at the end of the engagement, somebody came up to me and told me that he's surprised that usually when they hold their events, students will be scattered there and they are distracted. Yeah. Parents will be distracted. But this one, there was rapt attention for everybody. <laughs> so, to my surprise, um, a few days later or a few weeks later, I just started receiving videos from Australia. Here and there, they were sending my videos to me. Wow. <laughs> That's what I quickly posted. That's what I yeah. did, but I was not the best to post the video. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> the video had gone viral ahead of me. So, yeah. to, I took, so it came back to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because it's not, my, it's not my event now. It's mm -hmm. only my school mm -hmm. and church and whatever. So they posted down. But the copy was sent to me. But they had posted ahead of me. Yeah. And mm -hmm. people started sharing ahead of me. Daily wow. Momodu was posted on Instagram. And somebody they called my attention to Instagram. Look, you are you are trending on Instagram. <laughs> wow, wow. So eventually, it trended across social media platforms: Facebook, yeah. LinkedIn, all of them. Then, especially on on on, on um, WhatsApp. Interesting. Mm -hmm. See that th this is what any 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 content uh, producer wants for your exactly. own content to to for other people to spread your content. You know, uh, you know yeah. what? Somebody, somebody came up to me that he said, "Look at yourself. I've told you to set up a, a, a page so you can be monetizing." He said, "People are just cashing out. They're just using your video to cash out." I said, "They're using my video to cash out, but they're also giving me platform popularity to through their platforms." Yeah, yeah. So many, many of those bloggers 
that was the trending video at that time. Mm, 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 so mm. It went global. It was not a Nigerian thing. Yeah. Australia, US, Canada. You know, it was just that was the trending thing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because it was like there's an MC that is bringing it a, a, a new approach, <laughs> bringing language. You yeah. Know? And it, yeah. it's good that you didn't limit it to your own platform. That yeah. So it 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 spread faster than if you had a platform that would limit it. That's very good. That is very, very good. Yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Very, 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 very interesting. You know, what that did for me is that it now changed my, my, the value on me. Yes. It yes. was that same year that I knew what it was to earn seven digits. Wow. Um, you know, I was talking about five digits, five digits. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, you didn't, you, didn't, you didn't leave it to five, six, went to no, seven. No, no. Yeah. Yes. Even me, I didn't know the value of seven because when I was called for an international event on the strength of that video alone, no interview, yeah. just on the strength of that video, I was still quoting what I'm used to. They told me I should go and go and report that. Do I know the quality of people that are putting for that job? But it's me they want. So I should go with that. What I'm putting cannot fly. I should go and that's good that is good that is good Ooh. wow so see like i said i'm envious uh i used to be able to speak uh at least two nigerian languages today i can't i i struggle i struggle anyway uh see africa has thousands of languages yeah. two at least two thousand languages mm -hmm. now See, people, Africans say we need to come together. Mm? Yep. Yeah, African unity. But, see, I tell people that, okay, unity is good, it's very important. Mm. But with having so many languages, cultures how will we do the do it you see i've been a, i've been debating so many people on this platform and other uh areas on on the internet yeah that we need to have shared values okay right to bind us when it comes to languages, languages are supposed to be a tool of communication, mm -hmm. right? If you speak your language and I speak my language, how would we, how would we communicate communicate with with each other? Now that that came that came because the argument was that uh, we need to remove foreign languages and only use African languages. I said, okay, that's good. So what's your language? You told me, okay, my is Igbo. You speak Igbo, I don't speak yours. So how would we connect? Absolutely, that's amazing. Okay, how would we connect? Now, the few, three, four European languages which we speak in, Af in Africa and then Arabic has actually shrinked Shrunk the distance between us, yeah, from two thousand languages to three or four that many of us Africans can speak. Mm. You know, see, this thing is has been a a big uh, debate with many Pan Africanists, and I have I have a different view that this language this. European languages, which we have ad adopted after colonialism, is good. But people have a different view. What's your view? Well, to be candid, like you st stated earlier, these um, European, basically European languages or Asian languages, when we look at um, Arabic, yeah. uh, they have played a good part, a good role in education fostering fostering unity yeah among us yeah etc however 
there's the challenge of um, limiting our own languages. Okay. Our own culture. So some of us have completely forgotten our own languages. Okay. Yeah. Um, our culture, our values, and have completely taken over the European languages and European cultures. And this mm. is, of course, a very strong limiting factor to all of us. Um, so you see people, some people don't want to identify any longer as yes, as we, as maybe this and that. They feel, some don't even want to be names that are related to where they come from. Because yeah. the names are completely um, Frank, yeah. Frank, Frank Wood. <laughs> or, 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 uh, Elliot Livingstone. You hear some being green, white, stone. <laughs> Just <to> <laughs> <laughs> so there's that shade that you know, yeah. why. you know. But you see, we shouldn't. Your culture is your identity, your yeah. language identity. So you don't throw it away. Your your culture, you shouldn't retain your culture. Of course, if there are elements about it that are bad, like uh, Mary Slesso herself stopped the killing of twins. Twins, yes. So, mm -hmm. culture. so you drop the cultures that are bad, but you retain those who are good, which are, are good. good. Yep. Yeah. So you retain it. And if you do well, the world will act, uh, accept that side of your culture. Yeah. You look at the, the, the music industry now. You see. Exactly. Afrobeat everywhere. Yeah. 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 Because we do it here. We promote it here. We do it here. And then it goes viral. It becomes global. So why don't we insist in doing their own kind of music? It doesn't. <laughs> so they accept it. So it's actually a fact that if you promote what you do, if you love what mm. you do, the, the world will help you to love it. A, a, a case in study, Hausa language. Yeah. The Hausa man is that his language is the first language, not no other language. His language is the first language. Consequently, in England will broadcast to us. Yes. In Hausa, BBC, Hausa, French will do RFE, Hausa, Deutsche Vela will also do in Hausa. China, Sin will also broadcast. In, in fact, China's own is done by the Chinese themselves. They speak Hausa, they broadcast to us in Hausa. You see, similarly, the, 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 the American too, they'll give us yeah. VOA, they give us in Hausa. Yeah. So, so many. Why? Because they refuse to be reached through English. If you do it in English, you won't reach. Yeah, you're back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you are right. You are right. See, see, what I tell people is this: we need to acknowledge and love what we do well. Yeah, okay. we need to love what we do well, and sure. and try as hard as possible to improve it. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, when when I tell when I when I debate with people about languages and culture, uh, unfortunately, many people don't listen to what I'm saying. They just it triggers them that I'm promoting foreign culture, foreign languages. I'm telling them no. I'm saying that this few foreign languages has helped us because today I wouldn't be talking to you. You are Zambian, you are Kenyan, you are Egyptian. Who we wouldn't be on this platform debating and talking about something about Africa if not for this language. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, sure. We not yeah. be here talking because we we wouldn't even understand each other. Okay, if there are five, five uh, there are 50 people here, maybe of the 50 will speak 35 different languages. How would we, we have been able to talk? We're not. So see, there's, there's, there's a need for us to acknowledge this, the good thing about this, these languages. Absolutely. Okay. Acknowledge them. And also acknowledge that we have something in our culture that is good and make them make those things better and then promote them. And that is what uh, Afrobeat has done. Okay. Now, 
in the in the in the ent entertainment industry we have done that but there are so many other things that we need to look at see i've uh, i have a, I have, a, I have an uncle who is is he study history and he's very good at communicating culture i've told him see yeah go go around africa nigeria for for, for a start and record the cultural events of different areas and put them on on youtube yes yeah see be, 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 until we start doing those things people who don't know excuse me our culture and Correct. I, I i told him see don't wait for the chinese or any other group of people come and see those things and start do and start posting those things here because when they yeah. start posting it, people like you, you somebody like you, will not start uh, saying that oh they have come here and stolen stolen. So it's important for us to do it first. Yeah, because right. it's us. It's us. It's us. Yes. Okay. We don't need to wait for somebody else to to see the value. And start ahead of talking about it the ahead of us, mm -hmm. you know. So that's uh, that's something that I, 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 I've, I've talked about a lot. Now the other thing is this: you see, people want the instructing language in their schools to be local. I also see the difficulties about that. Because we have so many different people in the school. Okay? See, the cost, people don't understand that education, using local languages everywhere, will exponentially increase the cost. That's one. Two, it will limit the 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 teachers, because it's not everybody who is in in Lagos. For, for a teacher in Lagos, for example, who speak Yoruba fluently enough to teach in Yoruba. Okay, so you are limiting the kind of people you hire as teachers, and after a while, after perhaps uh, primary school, those students let, let's say as in a student who went to primary school in yoruba land taught in yoruba now for for something for some reason the family are, be, are transferred to kano now in the continuing house the continuing house in house in house <laughs> which which he never let you in in in, in lagos or ibadan <laughs> See, there are, there are so many, so many challenges, okay, doing that. There are so many challenges. And sometimes I think we get excited and put, put some policies in place without thinking about, think, think, thinking about long term. What yeah. is the effect long term? What is the economic impact? You know, so I don't know. Do you have a, you have a view a view on this? Yeah, yeah. Um, really, since um, the nature of our country is such that we have so many languages, mm. so many languages, it will be pretty difficult to say this is the language that will unite everyone together. It's pretty difficult. Mm. So, but it's okay if. There is a place for the learning of our languages. Yes. You know? So the the other side of it is that we are beaten, we are ch we are chastised for speaking our languages even mm. in our schools. I mm. mean, currently, yeah, wow, a, 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 really? A, a, public, a, a public, a a private school teacher told me that they don't allow students to speak um, vernacular. In so school. your own language is now seen as vernacular. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You will not be brilliant if you are speaking English. <laughs> that, that's <laughs> stupid. 
so you can see that we have taken it too too far yes too far so i think um, we have schools that do have a day as language day so the, in wow. the five days there's one day to, you are permitted to speak but it doesn't work like that the children are not even interested again because you have you told them to speak the better language so they're not they're, they're not they're intelligent when you told them not to speak theirs for five four days the only one they speak the other language is not good enough See. so they, they lose it wow mm. See, so the other that, side. that means we are we are we are making so many mistakes in so many places but that is for the south of nigeria it does not apply to the north the see, north will not agree with all of those policies okay so yeah. for, for, for me for me see, children can learn as many languages as you put in front of them absolutely absolutely see, I, 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 I learned yoruba within a few months at age of five when i when my family moved to ilaro ilaro okay Within a few months, I could speak it over. <laughs> okay, me and my young younger sisters, yeah. right? I could speak, speak yeah. it over to today. Okay, we in fact in, in my in our house at home, me and my sisters, we speak mostly Yoruba. Okay, the only person who who couldn't I can't speak to the, even today is is my father. Okay. But everybody else can speak Yoruba fluently, right? So, see, yeah. for me, I want us to learn as many languages as possible in our mm -hmm. locality. See, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm sad at that I never learned Hausa, but I, 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 I hear that Hausa is the most is the easiest one to learn. I, but that's correct. Uh, but well, I, 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 I was never opportune to learn it, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? So, see, I want us to learn many, as many languages as possible, but then we also need to acknowledge the need we, that we need we a, 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 a language, a common language that we all can, can, can unify us and allow us to communicate fluently, easily with each other. You know, yeah. and and we can that will not cost us uh, an arm and leg to. But to, I hope to you transact. realize that Northern Nigeria is united by Hausa. I hope you realize. Yes, yes, yes. There are many. There are many states that they are not indigenously Hausa, but the language they use to unify them is not English but Hausa. Okay, okay. So we we'll see if the governor will address them. Let me take Plateau State. Plateau State is not Hausa at all. At all. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. The language their governor will use to address them is going to address them. Yeah, is how is that? You understand? And yeah. there are many states that that the language to address them is how is that? Okay, not 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 uh, English. If you go to, they will tell you ba to the inchi. I don't understand. Wow. Now, okay, that, that's good. That's good. Now the point is this: they, the people living in northern Nigeria. How how do they communicate with the rest? See, the majority of the twenty two hundred languages in Nigeria are below plateau. The majority, the majority of the twenty two two hundred languages in Nigeria are below plateau. Okay, so. How would they communicate if they insist on doing everything in Hausa? Okay. How would we, how would they, how would we all come together and do things together? No, of course, they speak English. They go to school. They go okay. to school. <laughs> now, it's those that are. Hold on, hold on, hold on. See, the point is, my, my point is this. How. Uh, I, I, I need to I need to get this right. How would we see I I want I want all of us to be communicate as easily as possible. Okay. Sure. Now sure. if I could speak how sir, I would be no. okay, I can't unfortunately. But see a a 10 year old child in canon, Sokoto in Madagori. Mm -hmm. 
and the 10 year old, ch old child in Imo, in Ibadan, in Oshun, in Enugu. I want them to be able to talk to with each, each other. See, the, the world today is fast paced. Okay. I want us to be able to see Nigeria is very important to the development of Africa, not only Nigeria. Yeah. So language will be a very, very big tool for that development. Sure. Because see, like I said, the information we need to build our country and our continent are already 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 there in books everywhere okay so we need i we need to be able to read those books yes yeah. yes there, there are so many there are so many of those books written in in, in arabic okay mm -hmm. yes but see as nigerians we need to be able to read the same books in the same language so that for the for the for the uni, uni, uh, unity, yeah, yeah. So, see, these yeah. things are important. Sure, yeah. You know, these things are important mm -hmm. because uh, if you continue, everybody, every region or every areas of, of Africa of Nigeria doing their own thing, we are, we are separating ourselves further and further and further instead of right. uniting ourselves. Yeah. So, right. I mean, this, these things are important to, to discuss, you know? Mm -hmm. and, anyway, yeah, yeah. That, so that's, that's, my, that's, my, that's my view on these things. I agree, I agree with you on that. Mm. So, uh, my brother, like I've said just now, uh, books. See, books are most fascinating things for me, books. I, I, even though I have difficulty reading, but I love it. I love it. Uh, I've learned uh, a lot reading books and I want people to read books. So, uh, and I ask my guests to recommend uh, some, of the, some of the favorite books to my audience. So please uh, recommend five books, only five, not much to my audience. <laughs> Well, interestingly, I'm a language yes. person. Yes. Yes. So my books are my language books. Okay. That's okay. That, that's fair yeah. enough. Yeah. So, yeah. So like for French, I use apps. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I use Duolingo. Okay. It, that's a, a French uh, language app. Interestingly, it's not just French, it's um, so many languages are there. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's what I use for my, my, for my studies. Okay. Yeah, so I'm there practically every day, every day. So when people say I should recommend books, I'm a bit challenged because I don't usually deviate. That's my target. Any other reading is from social media, mm. to social media, LinkedIn, reading read related articles in that okay. discipline or from life. I intentionally follow people, you understand, who are, are intelligent, who can um, impact knowledge. So I go read and come back to my apps because I have targets so I cannot afford to be distracted. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. I cannot afford to be distracted. All right. Yeah. All right then. Uh, see, even though what we are doing just speaking languages, you're adding a lot of value, you know, uh, bringing people together, making people, make, making people, people laugh and making people see that uh, there is no difference or there's very little difference between us, okay, as uh, people who come from different uh, ethnic backgrounds and speak different languages and that you're, you're doing a great job of uh, shrinking that divide between us, you know. So I want you to advise uh, young Africans 
on what they can do to do their own bit to contribute to the de development of, of their uh, communities? Yeah, so um, it's two things. If you are not empowered, you cannot empower. Mm. Mm. So mm. it's good for it's the, the 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 younger folks need to emerge, discover themselves, develop themselves, then deploy their talents for their good. When they have arrived or while arriving, then they can be of benefit and um, they can be profitable to the larger community. Mm. So if somebody that... So you are saying, you are saying, you are advising young Africans. Yeah. Yeah, so like I was saying, um, we are... If you are not empowered, you cannot empower. Yeah. Yes. So it's important that our young Africans are empowered whether by the government or by themselves, they need to discover themselves and get em themselves empowered. So themselves, develop themselves, and then deploy the, you know, their talent to also empower others, which means they need, we, we all need to evolve. A beggar, for instance, cannot be of much of a help to anyone. Need. Anyone. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, but of course, I believe in this philosophy that you don't look at, you don't have this blame mindset. There's the blame mindset that many people, not necessarily Africans, many people have. Yeah, that, many uh, people, yeah. Yeah, that uh, because with the right way in the UK where you are, who believe that the government has not done enough. Absolutely. The situation in which the eyes caused by the government, then they remain there. So I have this. Um, point of view that take responsibility it may not be 100 percent responsibility we know some things we need to put some things in place and things like but still take ownership of your life your absolutely your, past, your present okay if you don't even know have control over your past but your present and your future own it take yeah. responsibility thank what you do you want to evolve into okay pursue it look for opportunities you are in the uk you, did you fly in the night to get to the UK? No. <laughs> you, I mean, you close your eyes and you took some steps, right? Yeah. And then you are there. Okay. And we know that, okay, um, the system works pretty well there. You are, you are not a power holding. You are not NEPA. So you don't have to add your, 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 your power there. Yeah. But we know that people here need to struggle to provide for them. Mm, whether you mm, mm. Rates or, but let me ask you a funny question. Do you have a gen is your in your house? No, I don't. <laughs> have you ever, have you ever no, on the serious note, have you ever bought one in case, in case? Never, never, never. Which means you don't pay a, 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 a generator repair at all. You don't, no expenses go that way, right? No, no. What a pumping machine before I left home today, I pumped water. Did you? No, pump? no. Have you ever gotten somebody to help you repair your tank because it's uh, no? What a borehole? Do you have a borehole? No. Okay, so all of this we have here. Yes. I, have, I had to pump water to. And I I used to have them when I was there. Yes. <laughs> so you yes. can see where we say that people need to. But in spite of that, if if, if we continue with the blame game, if we continue to see the cup as half empty mm. rather than half full, we will not go anywhere, get anywhere. So yeah. I believe the mindset of see the cup the cup is half really but see it as half full yes then you can see other ways to now make it f get filled but if you see it as half empty then tomorrow is going to be empty yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I when you see it as half empty and half full and you are laboring look for, looking for methods what you can do to get it half empty to now get it full then you can now be in a position to help other people well, a bitter soul that is always complaining that my cup is half empty, my cup is half empty, we cannot help any other person. Mm, mm, mm. Because to him, it doesn't have enough. Yeah. He doesn't. And he cannot yeah. even see when the opportunities are there to, to make him see how to get it full. He won't see them because he's bitter. Yeah. I, and, and a bitter person cannot get better. Yeah. 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 I, I, I agree with you. Uh, yes. Uh, there are there's certain things that uh, are government in africa nigeria needs to do okay mm -hmm. uh but i for me it's not about uh 
providing these things we just talk, talked about, electricity mm. is not the work of government. In fact, I, I'm writing a little script for one of my, my other channel about, see, things like electricity. I don't know how many of the people in politics in Nigeria, in Africa, who have ever built one thing in their lives before politics. I don't know any, I, I don't know how many, maybe 10%. See, we, we have people in politics that have never built anything and they get into politics and we're asking them to build things. They can't. Sure. Okay, they got into politics and they got elected through the to through the to, to the their their rhetorics, not by what they have done. See, that's one of the, that's one of the, that's one of the challenges we have. Yeah, we have people in power to do certain things which they have never been able to do in their lives. Mm -hmm. So it's a it's a big challenge. Yeah, it's a big, big. See, it's not only in Africa; it's all over the world. Okay, most poli most politi politicians have not, never done anything. Okay, uh, right now, uh, maybe in some countries, they are now realizing that hey, these guys all they know how to do is talk. Okay, <laughs> maybe it's time for us to start electing people who have who have actually done things in their lives. Exactly. Because right now we need people who who know how to do things. Mm -hmm. So it's something we need we need to also look at in our society and say, wait a minute, this guy is uh, campaigning to to do to be my governor that he will re build roads, he will build this, he will build that. Has he ever built anything? <laughs> so this these are the things that we need to, we need to talk about. Okay. So it's important, yes. But I, 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 I totally agree with you that uh, as uh, as a people, we we need to see the cops half full, half full. Because if we don't, we we'll never see the opportunities for us to replenish, replenish, and uh, add more to it. Okay, that, that's that's important. Right. That's important. Thank you, thank you. So, uh, my last question. See, what is your vision for Nigeria, for Africa, in the next 20, 30 years' time? Okay, nice question. Yes. Yeah, I envision a country, a continent, where we are the center of attraction. Mm. Mm. Yeah, we are a country where or a continent that is rich in natural resources. Yeah. We are not um, prone to climatic destructions. Okay. Okay. It's like other, you don't hear of, um, you see, when you hear of a um, cyclone, you hear of. Okay. Uh, yes. Th those, those are not there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They are not really the earthquake. You hear of rain, one kind of rain came and swept away, or they tell you about even fire, this bush bush fires mm. relatively alien to us, except we deliberately set fire. Set it, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what we do it is some end because we have rainforests. Yeah. You see? So we we're not prone to such such. Um, so I see Africa as a destination for tourists, destination for intelligent people. Who can come here and um, you know where like uh, the headquarters where things in the world should come to take place because we are a resilient people we are very strong and dogged people these yeah. are black skin these are black skin <laughs> it's like, look at the covid yeah COVID, it was a global thing but it was not we were the least prepared Africa was the least prepared yeah yet somehow Africa was the least affected thank God yeah. <laughs> so we, we we are resilient people really we are yeah. resilient people by 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 nature 
and by uh, other factors mm -hmm. you see so what we do, I, I, I see a future whereby africans now you see our the people who are presently living for the diaspora that they, they lead wherever they go to oh yeah yeah they lead okay so which means once we have a good climb like we have in rwanda you see what's happening in rwanda mm -hmm. so our people begin to come back home. Ruan, Rwanda, Botswana, Namibia. I you mentioned in Botswana. You see, yeah. these, are places, these are times where we are getting it right. Okay. So when we have our people coming back home, what do you think they do? The best brains that are up there, they now bring best practices. Yeah. See, if not for all the wars and then the conflicts that are happening, this is the place to be. This is really the place to be. You are safe. Yeah, if terrorism and things like that. so, once all these things are put into place and then they are stopped, then we can have a, the, our climate is all is awesome. We don't we don't have to go to, to for some bits and all those. <laughs> yeah, we just yeah. have everything working very well. Winter, do you like winter? No. Yeah. So here we are very the climate is every is perfect. Everything is in is in very top you know top position. So yeah. the challenge is. Just to have a, a lead, the leadership put play, things in place to forestall um, unpleasant things. Africa is the place. To, remember, Egypt is where knowledge started from Egypt in Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that, that was so years still, ago. Yeah, still, it's still going to go around. It's still, so it's, it's going from. It's, it's going around. See, yeah. that's that's what I tell people. See, <laughs> civilization is going. See, Egypt, Asia went round. Uh, Europe yeah. now yeah. is Europe yeah. time now it's going back to yeah. China. See, it is go yeah. back now, but for it to come back to Africa, Africans mm -hmm. need to do one thing. See, if you look at civilization, the next area would have learned a lot from the previous, and they add mm -hmm. value to it and make it better, yeah. and they become the big dogs. And then other people people come to them and learn, go to their own place, implement, make it better, become big big dog. See, that's the way things are things are have, have always always got done gone. So yeah. it's our time to realize, okay, these people are doing things better than us. Okay, there is no reason for us to start bad mouthing and start saying things about no no. Go there, learn. Come back to your old place, implement, implement. make it better, yeah. and they they will they will eventually come and yeah. learn from you. You know what? Our best brains that are out now, we say brain drain, right? Brain mm. drain. Mm. They are being massively empowered over there, but oh, they yeah. still do. they still know that Nigeria is home or Africa is yeah, home. Exactly. So yeah. The enabling environment is there. We all know opportunities. Our people, our brothers over there, are seeing the opportunities. It's just a few challenges that limiting them from coming yeah. home. The moment the enabling environment is there, there will be a rush to come because the, uh, you, the, 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 do you know the, the 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 profit margin when you invest here in Africa? You want to build roads, you want to build hospitals, you want to build. Is it going to be a massive construction site? In terms of economics, okay. In terms of business, yeah. the ma margin in in developing countries are massive okay yeah this, massive but for me for me education 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 mm -hmm. is very important and that's very why important. that's why i came to talk to you okay yeah. because language see because of our diversity because mm -hmm. of the different so many different languages we have across africa we need a, a country need to have a, a, a central language that binds a people together or uh, which which they need to learn everybody yeah. okay so that they can work together because as long as we continue doing that uh, in different re regions mm -hmm. doing their own things mm -hmm. the unity we need to build our countries it's not there. That's correct. Okay? We'll never be there. Once we don't have a central idea, okay, 
central value we won't have central values language culture to bring us together right the development we seek will not come correct you see see these are things that people need to think about now uh, for me i think we do, we haven't done a great job to uh at, we don't have a lot of philosophers who look at these things and write write books about them you see because to spread the thoughts and ideas and allow people ordinary people to read and think okay so this is something that may be holding us back we need people who have looked at these things to write books yeah see we don't see these are the things that we don't do well we don't write books see we might you might think we have we write a lot of books because we know evolution car you know achebe and this and that no we don't write books we don't. we don't write books and we don't read books this is a big deal if you look at history every every region countries that have developed have a lot of writers yeah a think a lot of thinkers yeah who challenge the norm we don't do that in africa and without without challenging the norm without ch challenging what is expected we can't improve them so these are quest qu these are questions we need to we need to address right. brother deji yeah we should go we should yes. Merci. Na, nice, to, nice to speak to you this this afternoon. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Thank well, you. Merci. Bye. Au revoir. Et que Dieu vous bénisse. Too many languages. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yes. Thanks man.